What's going on everybody? It is your boy BrainKiller257 and I have a special announcement to make today. At the end of today's video, I am doing a giveaway of a $20 PSN card and a $20 Xbox card. So if you want to figure out if you want or not, just stay tuned to the end of the video. Winners will be announced. With that being said, enjoy today's video. everybody it is your bar brain killer 257 and I am back today with another video I am doing another story time like the first one but this story time is different this is the story as to how yours truly ran away from school during his pre-k year in pre-k everybody loves their pre-k year right I know I love mine all you do is eat, sleep, and play games. So why would yours truly run away pre-K year? Now let me tell you this, Chief. Your boy was a rebellion. I did not want to go to school for nothing. All I wanted to do was go home and play my video games. Back then, it was all about the GameCube. The GameCube was the most holy, the most sacred games of all times. All I want to do is play my game. I didn't feel like going to school. Why would I go spend like seven, eight hours in some place doing nothing when I could be home playing the God's creation of video games? So, as I said, your boy was a rebellion. I didn't want to take no part of school. I didn't want to do none of that. I didn't even want to wake up early in the morning. I didn't want to do none of that. I wanted to stay home, play my game. So, yours truly thought up of a bright idea that he thought, what's the worst that could happen? Right? I decided I was going to come up with a plan. I planned this out days in advance. I thought up of ways. How can I possibly escape school without getting caught? I thought up of every escape route possible. There was no time for mistakes. One mistake could have been it. We couldn't have that. So I thought up of the perfect idea the perfect plan and this is how it went down the elementary school i attended was called dragon academy right in my elementary school we didn't have all these cameras as we do nowadays for most high schools middle schools and elementary schools before we ain't had no equipment fam none of that we had straight security guards front desk back door you name it we had it it was no, none of that technology. Straight, hand to hand. You trying something, we got you. Ain't none of that. But, I wasn't gonna let that stop me. This is what I did. Before, my elementary had two parts, two main components. We had trailers, and then we had the main building itself. So, the trailers, bathroom wasn't working at the time when we all had to use bathroom so what our teacher did was that she took us to the main building. the holy grail this was the biggest building to a kid's eyes ever made it was a dream come true this is the plan i thought up of i said if there was any way I could get past my teacher from where the bathroom was located to where the back door where nobody stood guard was, I was home free. Ladies and gentlemen, the plan was a go. The girls went to one side to go use the bathroom, the boys went to one side to go use the bathroom, and the teacher stood like on the one end of the hall 
or something i don't remember but um we're gonna go with that because why not it makes it makes the story juicy so while everybody's using the bathroom i took the perfect opportunity to where the teacher was not looking i said if there's any time to go and make this plan in action it was now what i did was the smoothest the slickest escape route possible the teacher wasn't looking i came out the bathroom and what did i do i went in the opposite direction I went up the stairs, I saw there was nobody, and I went out the back door. Mission passed, reputation gained. <laughs> Perfection. I couldn't believe I got away with it. Or so I thought. I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as I walked out the back door, I felt like the man. I said, I finally did it. I escaped from this school. I can finally go home and play my GameCube. Until this happened. As I was walking down the street, remember, I'm like a little kid, so, if any, what I didn't take account for was this. What would happen if a random stranger saw a little kid walking down the street by himself? Didn't take that into account. And this is what happened. As I was walking down the street, I felt like the man. I felt like I was on top of the world. Nobody could stop me, right? Until a random lady stops me in my tracks. So close yet so far, fam. So close yet so far. This lady, we'll call her Lynette. Lynette stopped us on the street and asked us, where was yours truly going? Now, I wasn't a very good liar back then, so I never thought of the idea of me lying to get away from situations like this. So I ratted myself out, fam. Yes, I ratted myself out. I, I done told the whole truth. I told Lynette that I was going home to play my GameCube. Lynette was not having that. I don't, let me remind you, I don't know who this lady is. She a random lady on the street. I could have easily just got kidnapped and would not be here today to tell this story. But Lynette was a kind, generous soul and she brought me back to school to my teachers. And you thought that would be the end of the story. Mission failed. Oh, well, that's it, right? That's not how it went at all. So everyone is back in the classroom now. My teacher was on the phone with my mom and all I could feel in my entire body was fear. My heart was in my cheeks, fam. I was scared out my mind. And I kid you not, after my teacher just got off the phone my mom, 10 seconds later, my mom comes through the door. I was frozen. I felt nothing but pure fear and scaredness throughout my body. It was all in my veins. I was about to die. There's not there were there's nothing else that can describe what was going through a young kid's mind but fear. Because you already know what was about to happen. You already know. Now, just a friendly reminder, my parents are Caribbean. So, I don't know who I thought I was thinking I was a ninja. Uh, a freaking samurai. I don't know who I thought I was. 
obviously I was not sneaky at all and I obviously did not think this through all the way to the end because everybody knows Koreans don't play that game at all and with that being said my mom looked directly into my soul all I felt was fear 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 and all my mom did was take me by the arm took me to the bathroom and whooped me like there was no tomorrow i'm talking about she took the belt off and everything not just hand she took the hand started beating me not only that she took the belt off she started beating me too she said you will never ever do something like this again <laughs> She beat me like there was no tomorrow. And to this day, I will never forget that beating. One of the worst beatings I have ever gotten as a kid. And I feel like it's my last beating as well because after that, I never decided to like run away from school ever again. I never even had the thought to ditch school, none of that. After that, I learned my lesson because there was no way I was getting away with that. Uh, we were so close, yet so far from our goal. And let me tell you, I don't know why, but after you get beat, them naps be hitting different. Cause when I got home, all I did was sleep. I didn't even think about playing the game anymore. I just went home, went in my bed, and fell right asleep. I woke up like two hours, three hours later, had the lines on my face and everything. But, Moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, just don't run away from school. Just don't. Even if you think there's nothing that could possibly go wrong, don't run away from school because somehow, in some way, it will come back and bite you in the butt. It will come back somehow. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my story time of how I ran away from school. With that being said, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and tell your friends about us. We just hit our goal of 100 subs. We are working to bigger and better things each and every day. With that being said, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace! Take it easy. Fade. Cut to black. Now. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't forgotten about the giveaway. I am now about to post it on the screen, right? Boom, here. These are the two winners right here for the giveaway. Congratulations to the both of you. I hope you are both satisfied with your gift, with your giveaway. With that being said, if you want to have another chance to enter in future giveaways, just be sure to subscribe to the channel. See you later, ladies and gentlemen. Take it easy. Now fade to black. Peace!